and welcome to this short series all about beavers, where you get to find out about these creative ecosystem engineers and what it means now that they're being reintroduced across Britain. My name is Megan McCubbin and I'm a naturalist and presenter and also ambassador for the Beaver Trust. I sincerely hope you enjoy this episode, but remember to watch out for all the others that are coming out too, because you can find out more about beaver biology, beaver ecosystems, their dams and how they build them, as well as a bit of climate resilience too. This episode is all about how beavers bring life back. Wildlife-rich wetlands were once a common sight, but now just a tiny proportion of Britain is covered with wetland habitat. With at least 10% of all UK species dependent on wetlands, these habitats are vital for supporting both wildlife and people. With the return of beavers to our waters, we now have an experienced ally to help us re-establish dynamic wetland ecosystems. By simply following their natural instincts and using their special anatomical toolkit, beavers help to restore lost wild plants and animals in the areas they live. Beaver-influenced wetlands have a secret ingredient that our man-made wetlands tend to be missing, which kickstarts the return of wildlife in diversity and abundance. That is, dynamism. Beavers are constantly active, working on their wetland homes throughout all seasons and quickly responding to any changes in the behaviour of water, such as flood or drought events. Beavers are masters at ensuring there is enough water in a wetland. Their lives depend on the presence of water, so other wetland species have a reliable place to live. It is in narrow streams or low energy catchments that beavers make the most impact. Beavers need around a metre of water to feel safe, so to achieve this, they will create a network of dams. By felling neighbouring broadleaf trees to gathering the building materials for their dams, beavers provide a coppicing service on bankside vegetation. In time, coppice trees like willow, birch and hazel will establish as scrubby habitats which support life at the edges of wetlands. From birds nesting in the protected branches to small mammals that can now safely commute through the undergrowth, and invertebrates feeding from flourishing flowers. Within the wetlands, young fish and amphibians shelter and can develop under the shade of bankside vegetation, protected from kingfishers, herons and otters by submerged woody debris. Water voles dart through channels carved out by beavers, and the decomposing remains of trees, known as standing deadwood, support vital homes for great spotted woodpeckers, owls and bats. Where beavers return, Life soon follows. <laughs>